Good morning, folks. Welcome to Trafalgar Square. You can see, beautiful morning, it's Sunday, it's sun is shining, that beautiful fountain. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's humid today. Really humid. But it's nice out. There you go, Nelson's Column. One of the great leaders of British naval. Past. Standing up there, he's been up there a while now. The National Gallery. Famous lions. So many things to see in London. So many things. It's just a beautiful, beautiful city. The old little red bus of London, famous. Mr. Nelson himself. London's famous rich red buses, as you can see. The most iconic places in London. Four lions, it's been there to protect Nelson. As you can see. These are the lines that people sit on. In fact, they're pictures. Yeah. Trafalgar Square. Let's try and cross the flow without killing myself. Square. There's your iconic red buses. They're everywhere, these red buses. London's famous for it. But yeah, just having a little stroll, really. Let's see what I say. Woke up this morning, had my water, had my Kangan water. Feeling good, feeling fresh. I thought I'd come out, jumped on the bus into central London. Well, I live about two miles outside of central London, so it's quite easy to get to. Amazing structure. Yeah, so, just follow me. Let's see what we see. Nice and early, so there's not many people out today, yet. But everything's starting up. Charing Cross Underground. I'm coming up to, this is the beginning of the Strand. Which goes all the way up to Famous icon, it's the Fitness Savoy Hotels up here somewhere. But yeah. That is Trafalgar Square for you. So if you come to London, you have to go to Trafalgar Square. I'm just walking up here, and on the right over there where that bus is, is Charing Cross, which is one of the best stations you can catch it's quite central really it catches you takes you virtually all over london so remember that charing cross just over there you see it there and that just takes you everywhere once you get to charing cross then 
you can get anywhere either. I bet you recognise them. Famous buses of London. Buses are uh, telephone boxes. Obviously people don't use them anymore because we've all got mobile phones. Mobile phone crazy. So yeah. That was a bit of the And there again is that part of I'm just filming really, I'm just going with it. Just run it. Beautiful building that isn't it, that Charing Cross. Still is beautiful isn't it? What do you think? But well, obviously that's older. I'm only 27. You believe me? You know, you know I'm lying. Down there is embankment. Takes you down to the Thames. Get a McDonald's if you want. So this is the Strand. Yeah. As you can see, it's nice and quiet at the moment. It's not normally this quiet, it's because it's Sunday, everyone's still in bed, everyone's hung over. Oh, let's have a little jog. Get fit, eh? Yeah. So, what I want to do, I want to do is try and start doing more of these vlogs. Yeah, and just have a wander around, have a little look, take in all the sights of London famous history about it because that's what London's known for with its history it's just got so much history as you can just see I mean when you think about it when you just think of the steps I'm walking on now history of it the millions and millions of people that have walked on these pavements obviously some of the buildings have changed they're all shops now but they never used to be they used to be owned by certain people rich people especially in the center but now they're all just shops aren't they as you can see You see them everywhere now, them pret jays But yeah, this is the Strand. The famous old Strand. It's still running. But guys, if you haven't been to London before, you, you seriously need to come to London. All you Americans out there, this is the place to be. Obviously a lot of Americans, what they do, they come, they come down to London, then they go to Edinburgh. Where I highly recommend you should go as well is uh, Stratford-upon-Avon. That's a place to go where William Shakespeare, the birthplace, which is about 30 miles south of Birmingham. Which is another city I highly recommend you should go and visit. It's industrial history. Just filming it, just running it. The real Greek. The Greek restaurant. The Strand Palace Hotel. Yeah. And obviously you're going to get a Costa. You get them everywhere. Everywhere you go, you're going to get a Costa. Wherever you go. Actually, sorry, it's a, it's a Prete Mandre. I stand corrected. Up there is Covent Garden, which I'll film that another day. Covent Garden. 
Right, we are now approaching a very famous hotel. World famous. And I'm going to show you a picture of it. There you go. Savoy. Great famous people have been there. It's a little walk down a bit nearer. Peritz and Savoy. So, do you want to pop in through for a quick coffee? Eh? Might cost you a bit. But yeah, you got to come here. Treat yourself. And there's a Savoy. Got the parting. Got the musical. <coughs> I know that record. Working nine to five. What a way to make a living. Yeah, we've done that one, haven't we? That's something I don't want to be doing for nine to fives. I'm doing more of this, just wandering around. It's just amazing, London. Look at that. Sometimes let the, it's best to let the film roll, isn't it? The architecture. What's that fascinates me about London is its architecture as well. Yeah, as Dolly Parton's on about with a 9 to 5 musical, which you can see there. We don't want to be doing that anymore. Like I said in the other videos, I just want to film, travel, once this corona thing ends and then I can start getting out to places and start coming with me and start talking to other cultures. That'd be a laugh, that will. And hopefully grow the channel and then we can uh, start trying to help people out there that's what I want to do surprise them a bit of financial and then as much as I can and then that's the plan whether it works or not I don't know let's just see so anyway that's it for now it's my short video so if you could subscribe And press that like and the notifications so when I've got upcoming videos you can watch them but yeah so in the meantime be good be safe and most of all keep that distance